Hello and welcome to another episode of the Williams Learning Lab. In this episode, we are going to cover the Bohr model of lithium. Let's do a quick review. When we do a Bohr model, we are going to draw a circle for the nucleus and we're going to indicate the number of protons and neutrons by saying P equals and putting that number of protons, N equals and putting that number of neutrons. The first orbital, remember electrons go around the nucleus in orbits, so this first orbital, it can hold a maximum of two electrons. After that first electron, it pairs with that second electron. In the second orbital, it can hold a maximum of eight electrons. And the electrons don't pair until one, two, three, four, the fifth electron in that orbital. The third orbital, it can hold a maximum of eight. And um, they also do not start to pair until that fifth electron in that orbital. One, two, three, four, five, and then they start pairing up. In this fourth orbital, we're going to have it holding a maximum of two, and these will be unpaired, okay? And this covers all the atoms up to calcium. After that, we'll start dealing with the transition metals, and then electrons start behaving a little bit differently. So this will get you covered from everything from hydrogen all the way up to calcium. For your, our Bohr model of lithium, we're going to need a periodic table, and we have a periodic table square right here. And we can see that our atomic number is 3, and that atomic number tells us the number of protons. That atomic number also tells us the number of electrons. To determine the number of neutrons, we're going to round this atomic mass, and then we're going to subtract the atomic number. So that round up to seven, minus three, gives us four. Okay, the next step is going to be to draw the nucleus. All right, just gonna draw a circle there for our nucleus, and then we're gonna input the number of protons. Protons equals three. Our neutrons equals four. And we have three electrons that we need to put. Well, we're starting with our lowest orbital, okay? And that first orbital right there, it can hold up to two. So we have one electron, two electrons. Well, we still have one more electron we need to, to use. And so let's draw another orbital. This orbital, if you remember, holds a maximum of eight, but we don't have eight electrons to spend, so we just have one left, okay? And so what we have here is the Bohr model of lithium. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep on learning.